Next problem, the Venn diagram below represents the number of students taking English, mathematics, and art at a particular school. The number of students taking mathematics or English is, okay, so what, does, what do they mean by or, mathematics or English? What they're saying is, what they mean by that is everyone except for the students that are neither taking math nor English. So they want to know everyone except for the people who are not taking either one. So this is our entire sample space in here. Uh, and we want to know everyone except for the people that don't take either one of these. So they're not in this circle and they're not in this circle, which means everyone except the 17. So all we have to do is add up all the other numbers. So 17 plus 13 plus 21. Well, let's see, it's 30, 51, 53, 6, 60. Answer D, 60. So use the following information to answer the next question. Four sets. Set 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, so the first set, 2, 3, 8, 9, 15, 16. Set 2, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Step 3, multiples of 3 between 0 and 20. Set 4, odd numbers between 0 and 20. Two of the sets that can produce the intersection 3, 9, 15 are blank and blank. There is more than one correct answer. Well, in that case, we have to figure out the intersections between the various sets. Right away, we know that 1 and 2 will not produce that intersection because they, they have 2 in common. So that's out. For sets 3 and 4, it helps to actually write out what they are. So multiples of 3 between 0 and 20, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Set 4, odd numbers between 0 and 20. Well, that's 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. Okay, so we're looking for intersections that will give us 3, 9, and 15. Set 2 does not have a 9 in it. It does not have a 15 in it, so it cannot... It cannot be part of the answer because the intersection is the numbers that both sets have in common when you intersect two sets or when you ask for the, the what the intersection is of two sets um, a number has to be in both in order to be included in the intersection so two does not have a 15 in it or a 9 in it so it's it's completely out but what about sets one and three well sets one and three have a three a nine and a 15 in common and they don't have any others in common so there's a valid response one and three what's another valid response well let's check one and four three three they hold have in common nine nine they have in common 15 and 15 they have in common they don't have any others in common so another valid response is 1 and 4. Is there another valid response? Well, 3, 3. Between sets 3 and 4, there's a 3 in common, there's a 9 in common, there's a 15 in common. And there's no other numbers in common. So 3 and 4 is also a valid response. So as you're in numerical response, you could have put 1, 3, 1, 4, or 3, 4. Either any of those three responses would work. Next question. The universal set of primary and secondary colors in art contains yellow, blue, red, orange, green, purple, black, and as shown below. If R is the set of colors that contain red, then all the colors in the complement of R, in other words, R prime R. Okay.
So when they say complement, what they mean is everything outside. R is the set of colors that contain red. So R is red, orange, black, and purple. Anything outside of R is yellow, green, and blue. Simple as that. Yellow, green, and blue. C is your answer. There are 35 students in John's homeroom class. There are five students who take English and biology, seven students who take neither of these subjects. There are three more students, three more students taking only English than there are students taking only biology. The number of students in John's homeroom who take biology only is. Okay, so we have to draw this out. We have to draw a sample space with a Venn diagram inside of it. And since we don't know how many students take biology only, we're going to make that equal x. And people who take only English is going to be x plus 3 because they tell us it's 3 more. We know that there's 35 students in total in the entire sample space. There's 5 students in the intersection of English and biology because they take both. And there's 7 students who take neither. So we're going to draw this all out like so and you're gonna to have to use your imagination a little bit pretend that this is a, a Venn diagram with two circles this is a circle this is a circle and pretend that this is a sample space the whole thing okay so let X be the number of students who take only biology there are X plus three students taking only English step one draw the sample space and a Venn diagram to illustrate the data so that's what we did we have five students in here who take both English and biology. We have seven students out here who take neither. We have X who take only biology. We have X plus three who take only English. Step two, add all amounts to solve for X. X plus three, so I'm just taking each component, adding it. So X plus three plus five plus X plus seven equals our total of 35 students. Simplify to get. Well, x plus x is 2x. 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 15. 2x plus 15 equals 35. Thus, you just subtract 15, 15, you get 2x equals 20, and then x equals 10. So x equals 10 is our final answer. A, 10. Which of the following Venn diagrams illustrates M intersect N? equals null. So the upside down u means intersection, which means uh, anything that the two sets have in common. And the, the circle with a slash through it means null, which means nothing. So m and n have nothing in common. Well, that only happens with c. There's no intersection uh, area at all. So their answer is c.